my name is Will Cardwell. Uh, I have several roles. I have a small uh, seed fund called Courage Ventures. We also do some consulting, and I'm a professor of finance at University of North Carolina. I've looked at the startup angle from every different possible perspective, from an investor, from an entrepreneur, from a researcher, from a teacher. And I think that's what's different about me, is I've really sat on pretty much every side of the table. Like I mentioned, I've, I've been part of 48 different companies over the 15 years, so that's a lot of different angles. Some of them have succeeded, some have failed. But uh, I really feel great about where things are right now because uh, the Nordics uh, and Baltics have really realized that startup companies are the future, uh, the future for growth in the economy. And so there's a lot more potential today than there ever has been. I mentioned I'd made uh, 48 investments over that period. Um, Want to guess how many times, when making 48 investments, how many times I said no to investments? Uh, more like 1,480. But it's about 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 three percent of the cases that I've seen, and I think this is normal across most investors, actually end up. Uh, ending up in an investment. Startup Passion, it's, uh, it's a program to support uh, a few of the highest potential student teams in Finland, Estonia, and La Latvia, and work with these teams for several different uh, programs, or sorry, different periods, and help them develop their business idea, business concept, business model, uh, and hope we can help them turn into great companies. Good entrepreneur is always pitching their idea in different ways so they can look in the eyes of the customer or the investor or the partner and kind of see what are their kind of hot buttons, what are they, what are they excited about, and then kind of twist their pitch a little bit in that direction. Um, so I think good, successful uh, entrepreneurs who raise money are able to kind of identify the message that the um, uh, investors will believe in. Um, I think they have a concrete vision for their company, so they have some, maybe they don't know how much money they're going to make, or maybe they don't know exactly who they're going to sell the company to in the future, but they have a vision about how they can be uh, influential in their industry and how their company can become really a must-have for, for, in particular, the customers in their industry. So I think, um, I think to me, the, the entrepreneurship is so much about being able to assess the situation you're in and, and get your message right. I absolutely believe in cross-border teams. So all, all countries, like in this case, Latvia, Estonia, Finland, they have some similarities, but obviously, obviously cultural differences. I think the best companies are the ones that uh, are able to have different uh, perspectives and um, so I think the ones that will be successful in the future are the ones that are going across borders. Well, I think it's very easy to start a startup. Uh, the problem is to how, to how to make them successful. And I think um, you have to realize that there are certain things you can control and certain things you can't. So every startup needs you know, good execution to do things the right way, but then they need a little bit of luck along the way. So I would say the things you can control is, I mean, one of the problems is, is a, uh, a lot of entrepreneurs are so fixed on their own idea that they can't uh, see other perspectives, which is why we, we coach them, to try to give them different ways, out of the box ways to look at their area. Um, I think another one is, you know, come, a lot of times entrepreneurs come really too much from the product side rather than the market side. So the key is, you know, it's okay to have a great product, but you know, do you have a way of getting them out to the big market where people are willing to buy? And uh, so we see a lot of entrepreneurs that go way too far in developing a product and uh, turns out that it's not the right one for the market. So we like to help them listen to the market very quickly. That's one, another of the coach's role, to get them out there talking to customers. <laughs>